Last night we pulled into the Seaport RV Resort here in Mystic, Connecticut, the first stop on a month-long journey through New England. Today we're going to be exploring Mystic, and in a couple of days we'll be making our way up to Cape Cod, and then, well, we'll keep you up to date from there. This is Miles and Smiles. Behind me, you can see a new purchase of ours. We got two electric brand e-bikes, and uh, we really haven't had a chance to drive them very much so far, so today's gonna be our first real journey. We're gonna be riding into the little quaint seaside village of Mystic, Connecticut, and uh, we'll see how that goes. It should be a lot of fun. Behind me, you can see the gears of the Mystic River drawbridge. Uh, we haven't seen the bridge go up yet, but maybe we will. There's a lot of tall ships around here anyway. Built in 1922, the bridge is powered by two 40 horsepower electric motors. And one of the things that makes this bridge unique is the huge counterweights that help the bridge to open and close. Did someone say ice cream? So I got a, a Kahlua chocolate chunk and a coffee chocolate chunk. What did you get, Kat? And I got the vegan coffee Oreo, but I'm gonna try his. Mm. Mm, I already tasted it. It's pretty good at the, uh, the Mystic Drawbridge ice cream shop. Two thumbs up. What's special about Mystic Pizza? It's Mystic <laughs> pizza movie with Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. One of my favorites, her very first big movie. Back in what year? 1988. 88. And this was established in 1973, so it was here before the movie. Yeah. Woohoo! We are having dinner at Mystic Pizza. This um, pizza place is actually the location of the movie and in the surrounding area. Um, so there are pictures of Julia Roberts and movie scenes all over the place. So cool place, lots of fun, hope the pizza's good. We ordered the house special at Mystic Pizza and it looks beautiful. Look at that, gooey cheese. See how it is. Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> Messy, but good. Mm. Delicious. Mm. All right, my turn to try. It's a beautiful little seaside village. Tourist stuff and uh, non-tourist stuff. And good place to visit. Today, we're visiting the Mystic Seaport Museum. Uh, it's got lots of old ships, lots of exhibits about uh, life in the old days, uh, uh, even some live theater going on. This is an incredible, incredible place. Look at that strong man go. Woo! This is actually a replica of the Amistad that was in the movie. Amistad was a slave ship, uh, human, human cargo, and it's actually larger than the original ship would be, according to the people here, although some of that's conjecture, but imagine what it would be like to sail across the ocean in this, and then imagine even worse if you were one of the people who had been captured and were enslaved and being chained into the decks down below. And here's an old New York fireboat, guided tours only. See this doubloon? Whosoever of ye raises 
this is me, a white-headed whale with a wrinkled brow and a crooked jaw. He shall have this gold ounce, my boys! Huzzah! 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 Many of the buildings have live demonstrations going on of the crafts that were common in the old days, and uh, the ones that don't have uh, QR codes like this so that you can actually watch a little video of someone explaining how things worked and showing you on the video while you stand in the store. So it's really great. Even though they don't necessarily have a person in every single exhibit, you can see everything and uh, learn about all of the different kinds of uh, crafts and jobs and things that were needed to run the seaport back in uh, the early days. When people think of hemp today, they usually think of things like, well, wacky tobacco, but hemp was actually one of the most important fibers in the ancient seafaring world because it was used to make ropes and ropes were essential for just about everything. The reason this building is so long is that they would place the fibers here and the workers would walk all the way to the back of the building and back and forth to make the long, long strands for the ropes needed on ships. They could walk as much as eight miles a day. And finally, when you get down to the end of the process with hemp fibers into strands, into cords and wound and wound and wound again and again, you end up with this heavy duty rope Amazing the ingenuity to create this uh, essential commodity. This is the whaling ship, the Charles Morgan, which is really one of the central exhibits here at the Mystic Seaport Museum. This ship made many, many, many whaling voyages around the world during the golden age of whaling. And it is the subject of the panorama that you see elsewhere in this video. Uh, it is being repaired and maintained, and so it's in dry dock. This gives you some idea of just how much of this ship is below the water level. And that's how it could travel for three years, collecting whale oil and whale blubber before returning to its home port. And here are the kettles in which they would have rendered the whale oil out of the blubber. Nice bunk room. One of the most amazing exhibits here is of a painting, but it's not just any painting. This painting is on rolls, and it is one painting that's about a thousand feet long, following uh, the voyage of the Charles Morgan around the world. When it was originally produced, it was taken to theaters, and people would listen to music, and the painting would unroll before their eyes up on the stage to tell the story of the voyage. Today, you can see one part of the original painting at a time, and in this hall, you can see the entire painting uh, laid out in miniature uh, up against this wall behind me. Uh, never seen anything like it. Mystic Seaport Museum, is it a go or is it a no? It's a go, wow. It's got some amazing exhibits. Yeah, we budgeted two hours, a little bit, maybe more than two hours for our time here today. And we spent uh, about four and a half hours and there's a lot of stuff we had to skip because we hadn't had a chance to see it all. Definitely two thumbs up. Stop by here if you get in the area.